I'm Samantha Loren, your St. Mary Parish reporter. As you can see behind me, this weekend's rainfall brought the invasive species water hyacinth down the Atchafalaya River Basin. Morgan City Mayor Lee Dragna says the water levels quickly increased due to 10 inches of rain this weekend. A big problem this time of the year is grass. The grass grows in them and holds them together. And then when all that breaks free, it's just big chunks that float. Water hyacinth, commonly known as water lilies by locals in ponds, small lakes, and canals were flushed out into the river. What's most common is seeing these plants clog waterways. I went and looked at them and they're not real thick. They look like it, but they're not packed. They're just kind of drifting together. Local Morgan City shrimper Donald Rabardi says this was the first time in a while he's seen this many and describes what he saw after the rainfall. The lilies, man, they was, they was real thick in here. They, from the dock all the way out to that span out there, you know, they was pretty thick, way up towards the bridge and packed up against the railroad bridge. The Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries says the plant doesn't release toxins, but if it took over bodies of water, it would deplete oxygen and kill fish. They say the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers currently controls the species by mechanical removal and the use of herbicides. Mayor Dragna says this isn't a major problem for now and says low water levels caused the influx of the species. When the water came up, it didn't affect the lilies. But when the water rushes back out because all of a sudden you have more water above the river than below, it just because the water down the river is still low. So it's kind of like a tidal effect. It just sucks them out. They broke free from the edges and they all ended up in the river. Mayor Dragna says the water hyacinth will be pushed out of the river naturally, most likely by next week. Reporting in St. Mary Parish, Samantha Loren, KTC TV3.